Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this really effective circular landscape. Okay, It's really easy and it looks really good and I think you can impress your families if you work on this yourself. Okay, I'm going to do two versions, this is the black and white version and I'm going to do a full colour version in the next video. Alright, so for this video I am using a plate, a circular plate, actually this isn't a plate, I'm lying, a bowl, but you could use a plate or a mug or anything circular you've got lying around, and I'm going to use a felt tip pen, okay? Of course you could do this in pencil if you prefer, but pen is fine as well. So I'm going to place my plate on my paper, okay? I'm going to hold it down with one hand, and very carefully I'm going to go round, and when it gets a bit uncomfortable, I'm going to carefully take my pen off, gently carry on all the way round, and I'm going to be careful not to smudge it, by lifting it straight up. Whoop. There we go. So I've got my circle. The next thing I'm going to do is roughly about five centimeters up. Yeah, I'm going to show you just to demonstrate this. One, two, three, four, five. That's five centimeters up. I'm going to start doing a line of trees across here. Okay. And the way I do that is I just kind of do almost like teeth, little up and down two sides of a triangle, up and down, up and down, and some of them would be bigger, some of them would be smaller, but there's my forest, and I'm going to be very careful getting to the edge of my page, right? So that's my first row of forest, and I'm going to do some more of these trees hanging up here as well, a couple that might overlap like this, some of them might be on their own, some of them might be poking up from here, but this is my forest part one, okay? So you can see I'm leaving some gaps here, but this is my forest. And I'm going to add some texture to this. Maybe this is a pine forest by doing these lines going this direction and this direction. Diagonally one side, diagonally the other side, okay? And I'm going to fill my forest with this texture, okay? You can see how it will create the impression of a pine forest. So I'm building that up there. You get the idea. All right, now behind that, there's going to be even more trees. So I'm going to draw a second line of spiky trees behind the first line. But it's not completely above. It's kind of touching the backs a little bit. Again, sometimes there's big ones, sometimes there's smaller ones. Okay. Now to give the impression of depth, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shade in these sections with my black pen. Okay. Now if you're feeling really brave, you could do three sets of trees. Okay, and you could think about doing a different texture for each one, okay? And with colour, that's quite a lot easier than it is doing this. So I'm filling in each of these sections. And I'm being really careful with this, okay? I'm taking my time. I want this to be as neat as possible, okay? And you can see how effective the black is there. It's suddenly gives my picture some depth. So the way I'm doing it is I scribble the main bit and then the edges, I tidy them up, okay? That stops me from worrying about smudging it. So this bit, I'm gonna go to here, I'm coloring it in here, and then I can just tidy up these edges by moving my pen in a different direction. That allows me to be nice and neat. Okay, so I'm colouring the main bit, like so, and then I'm tidying it up. That's a technique I'd recommend for colouring in, guys. Sometimes it's hard to be really neat. So think about doing the main bit, and then tidying it up afterwards. Okay, but I'm being very, very careful here, taking my time. Okay. Almost there. Very, very careful. I 
Okay, so I've got my two rows of trees there, and already you can see that there's some depth happening. And this bit's a really fun bit, and so I'm going to draw a mountain. And the way I do that is I'm going to start at the edge of my circle, I'm going to do a wiggly line up to a point, and I'm going to do a wiggly line coming down, disappearing like that. Then I'm going to do a smaller one in the background, so about halfway up this line I'm going to do another line, wiggly wiggly, and this comes down very carefully to my edge. Now, this is a really, really cool technique which makes your mountains pop. You start off at the peak of the top of the mountain and then you draw some sort of wiggly line coming down here. Whee! Woo! Like that. And you can experiment with where you want that to be. And all of a sudden it's given my mountain some perspective. And then what I'm going to do is add a bit of shading following the gradient or the slope of my mountain. So I'm going to shade it and all the lines are going to go this way, like so. Diagonal line, diagonal line, and I'm being very careful here that I don't go outside my mountain, okay? It's all right that this isn't touching, but this one I don't want to go over this line, all right? Very carefully. all the way down. I'm trying to keep these lines a decent distance apart, or the same distance apart. Okay, but you could play around with that as well. Okay, all the way to the bottom, and then I can actually tidy this up a bit as well, finishing these lines up to here, like so. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing for this mountain. I'm going to create a line like this, and I'm going to follow my shading down here. being very, very careful that I don't go over the edge of my circle. Okay, again, I can now tidy that up a little bit. All right. And now I've got this mountain landscape. That's looking pretty cool. I'm going to finish it off by adding a couple of clouds. So just like in previous videos, we're going to do a horizontal line and then a bobbly, bobbly, bobble, bobble, bobble. And this one's slightly behind my mountain, right? Then I'm gonna add a couple of little fluffy bits and I'll do another one, straight line. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, here's my cloud, like so. And there you have it, okay? A simple mountain landscape. I'm gonna do another video, part two, on how to do a color version of this. It looks even more effective. All right, have a go, good luck.